Hi there, Robert here. Hope everyone is safe and well. And welcome to Easy to Grow Food at Home. Today I want to talk about tomatoes because they're one of the easiest plants to grow. Tomatoes. I've got the big tomatoes and the small cherry tomatoes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in a tube and containers and I have enough to grow for the street. And this cost me $4 and I've only used half. So I spent $2 so far, right? Now, other vegetables easy to grow. Lettuce. Lettuce, I have here in likeables. They're clay pebbles, water soaks into the likeables. You sprinkle the seeds on top. Others that I haven't started yet is cow, and I'm going to start them next week. But lettuces and tomatoes are the easiest vegetables to start to grow. If you do not want to grow hydroponically, you can grow them in soil. And I've got eight little seedlings started to grow in there. This is premium soil. Yes, it costs $10 a bag. I've used a third of a bag, so I'm speaking, say, just over $3. With this, I've spent $5 so far on all this tomato plants. I've got, let's count these, one, two, three, four, five, eight tomato plants in there. And those eight tomato plants are in a pot bottle with cling foam with the top. This is my seedling tray. It's a little miniature greenhouse. Underneath you can see the lid. And the seedlings are touching the lid. This is premium soil. And I've got, must have 15 to 20 plants in here. Right, so what am I going to do? This is not rocket science. I'm going to put them in a grow tube. The grow tube is going to grow enough tomato plants to feed the whole street. What is left, I'm going to put them out in containers. I'm going to have some lettuces. I'm going to have some cow. And other neighbours are starting to grow potatoes in big buckets. These are the easiest vegetables to grow and the cost of tomatoes today is going to save a lot of money now the reason why I went to seed and I started growing them now in February is because in April when you can put them out the supermarkets and the garden centers are selling one tomato plant for five and six dollars I've got a grow tube and it's going to cost me 50 bucks in tomato plants to place in the grow tube without the soil. I'm not saving a lot of money there, although I will get my money back. But spending about $10 to $15 and you've got 10 tomato plants and grow buckets filled with plants is a better way to go. I could feed the whole street for a year with tomato plants for 10 bucks. I'm going to do the same with strawberries. I'm going to go and buy some strawberries and I'm going to grow them from strawberries. You can get them in the supermarket now. Just slice them up and stick them in premium soil. That is the key, buying premium soil. Most people lose they're seeds because they buy cheap soil. The premium soil has got all the nutrients in it that a seedling needs. And it will grow. You get more high germination rate.
And this is why they say on the packet the germination rate is 97% or 96%, others are 86%. I'm getting in between 50 and 60% because I'm growing with premium soil. I haven't got the technology these big boys have got, the super lights and the controls, and they've got the super humidity going at the right rate. I haven't got that. So the germination rate falls. But if you get premium soil, you're going to get more tomato plants. And to be honest, even if you don't get premium soil and you put all your seeds down for a couple of dollars, you're going to get some plants that's the key and we're doing it neighbors are helping neighbors and what is happening we got different neighbors growing different foods and we're sharing them out we've got other neighbors that don't want to grow purchasing extra food we've got other neighbors that are cooking extra food We've got neighbours helping neighbours to get us through the hard times we're living in today. And I'm not struggling. And a few of my neighbours are not struggling. We're also buying bulk food. And we're sharing it out. We started another way of saving money, because this is what we're doing, finding ways to save money for the people that are struggling running people to the railway station to save parking because the parking at railway stations is astronomical. And now it's winter, we get heavy snows, although this year we've been quite lucky, we've got the neighbours helping neighbours, we're all cleaning the snow. Not myself, but other neighbours have said to me, stay indoors, we'll do yours. Neighbours are helping neighbours, whether they're cleaning the snow, whether they're cooking the food, whether they're purchasing extra food, or whether they're growing food, or they're running people to the station. We're helping each other. And this is what neighbours should do. And in return, we're all saving. And this is growing. It's gradually moving down the street when other people are getting in the conversation, oh, we can do that, we can do that and is growing very fast. People need help. Get out there, speak to your people, speak to your neighbours, start growing in buckets, start growing food. This is what you can do. Anyone can do it. And I started this last year by making grow buckets, and I've expanded into hydroponics and other ways, and we've expanded helping one another. We've got a couple of neighbours involved, and we've got three or four, five or six, and it's growing. We've got a lot more now. Neighbours helping neighbours. God bless, all the best. I hope I've helped you out. Start growing your seedlings now, you're going to need it. And stay safe and look after each other. Thank you very much. God bless.